Welcome back, the Minister of Labor and the Public Service, Pia Glover-Roll. She led a bipartisan delegation to the 148th Interparliamentary Union Assembly in Geneva, Switzerland last week. The delegation represented the Bahamas in discussions on global and regional peace, gender parity, and climate change talks. Minister Glover Rowe's initial speech to the assembly was on the theme, Building Bridges for Peace and Understanding, where she asked fellow parliamentarians to recognize the brewing conflict between Guyana and Venezuela over territory and the humanitarian crisis which is ongoing in Haiti. During her second intervention, Minister Glover Rowe spoke of the need for gender parity in the world. Joining the minister at the assembly was Senate Vice President Barry Griffin and Opposition Senator Maxine Seymour. The Royal Bahamas Police Force is seeking the public's help once again in locating a wanted suspect. Police are looking for 29-year-old Trevor McPhee for questioning in connection with a recent armed robbery. McPhee pictured here, last known address, Wolf Road. Police say he stands between 5 feet 8 and 5 feet 11 inches tall and is of medium build, dark brown complexion. If you know of McPhee's whereabouts, you are asked to contact CID at 502-9991 or 2, or you can call 911. A 28-year-old male officer from the Bahamas Department of Correctional Services was taken into police custody last week after he was found attempting to smuggle cell phones along with a quantity of suspected marijuana into the prison facility. Police say on Saturday, March 30th, the officer, while reporting for duty, presented himself at the security checkpoint where the items were found and confiscated. The drugs weighed in at an estimated 1.8 ounces with an estimated street value of $275. The prison officer was arraigned in the magistrate's court today. In recent weeks, a number of rogue law enforcement officers have been exposed as their superiors continue to weed out the bad apples in places like the police and the defense force, immigration and customs departments, and in this case, the prison services as well. Also appearing in court today was a 38-year-old male from Brazil who pleaded not guilty to several charges in connection with that $7.5 million cocaine seizure on Mayor Guana last Tuesday. There was a second man involved who escaped into bushes and the police closed in on the airplane. Now, as the police closed in on that airplane that had just landed, both men took off running into bushes. They were only able to capture one so far. Police are still on the hunt for that second individual believed to be a co-pilot. And finally, Tipsy Scoop, the first liquor-infused ice cream shop in the Bahamas, held its grand opening on Monday and its downtown Marlborough Street location, attracting many locals and tourists as well. Minister of Tourism, Investments and Aviation, Chester Cooper, also joined in the occasion and brought remarks. You can see some of the photos here. The new ice cream parlor is owned by Bahamians, Michael and Doneth Cartwright. You can get flavors like tequila chocolate, mango margarita, vanilla bourbon, and guava and lime infused with rum. Former Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnes and his wife Patricia were also in attendance. And that'll do it for your JCN Evening News. Once again, I'm Jerino Saunders. Thank you so much for joining us. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.